Hey there, this is K4A, Knowledge for All Educational Videos channel. We are continuing with making scratch dress up game in uh, today in this video we should finalize it uh, at least uh, the simplest version of it and um, in this video today i think i will call it something like um, coding character clothing or something like that because in this video today we are going to code clothing to show on the character so far if we test the game we have those buttons working so when I click on those different clothing is showing up on screen and when I click on those clothing on the screen nothing happens so I want to make these clothing on the screen interactive so you should think of those like uh, think of them like they are some kind of buttons and um, that would be nice to think it that way because that way you will understand easier what I'm trying to do today and that is to make uh, same mechanics same coding as in previous two videos so in previous two videos I was coding um, clothing types buttons and clothing styles buttons and we have learned that um, uh, when you want to code a button you should use when this sprite is clicked and then add some kind of action beneath that scratch block like this so we first added play sound and then we added broadcasting sound message uh, in these four buttons we have broadcasted messages show heads show shirts show pants and show shoes and that works and now we have to do same for those uh, hats, shirts, pants and shoes on the screen so I want to make this hat interactive like a button this hat to this shirt to this pant here and these shoes here and how to make them interactive how to turn them into buttons <coughs> as again we will use the same as I said sorry as I said um, as I just said, uh, we are going to use the same approach again as with previous two videos. We are going to make buttons and send messages and let's try to do it. We are going to select the hat one first, the sport cap, uh, which we have coded earlier to hide when we click on the green flag and to show only when the message is show hats that's all cool that works uh, the hat will show up when i click on hats and hide when i click on anything else but i want to make this button interactive to make it a button like uh, when it's clicked something happens so how to do it i'm not going to uh, draw anything don't worry don't be scared uh, that was in previous videos and that wasn't probably the most uh, the best way to explain you some things maybe for some of you it is but today I'm going to use only words as a de description so what do I want to do let me first define the problem I want to make this uh, uh, hat one button so what that means let me analyze that I want to make that hat when it's clicked to, uh, to do something okay so let me first uh, try to find out find the, the scratch block which says when this sprite is clicked and it's one of the events block if you forgot already from previous videos no no big deal just try to find it it's one of the yellow one blocks which says when the sprite is clicked <coughs> so click and drag it into it so when i try and clicking click on it nothing happens yet so that means we have to add some kind of action beneath it so what do i want to do if you have uh, if you haven't watched previous videos uh, as I said a uh, few moments ago we were making these four buttons here so let's try to analyze one of those and see what we have used here okay I have used play sound pop okay maybe that's not what we need today but uh, I used this broadcast show heads okay so that means when I click on this heads button it will broadcast some kind of message maybe I need to use this 
here I also want to send some kind of message so uh, try, try to find the broadcast something but don't touch it yet and let me think about it in a few seconds and try to explain it this time with words only uh, when you use these broadcast message blocks uh, that means that you're sending some kind of message to the scratch and all the sprites on the screen all the characters all the environment all the sprites and so on so uh, you by default you have a, a message which is called message one but you can uh, add new messages with uh, when you click on this button here and pick new message and you can add as much as messages as you need but uh, what does it really mean to send a message as i said you're sending some kind of message but that message all alone doesn't do anything so what what do we use it for then if it doesn't do anything it uh, doesn't make anything moves or uh, creates anything or so on so how how is it useful to us well uh, let me first try to make new message click on new message and try and uh, write down show head one and i'm going to attach it here so when this sprite is clicked broadcast show head one so i'm going to click on the heads first to show all the heads and now watch how this block will blink yellow when i click on the cap on the screen so that means it works it was it's sending the message show head one but as i just said a few moments ago that message is out there in the space no one is reacting to it so what do we have to do i was explaining that in previous videos with drawing it's much much clearer to me with drawing we, uh, when you send a message that's a first step and the second step is uh, that someone has to receive that message you can make uh, um, as many uh, objects sprites receive uh, same message or, or different messages messages sorry or so on uh, but if uh, it uh, at least one of those objects sprites has to receive message and uh, then react to it to make something happen if no one receives a message it's like sending a message out in, in empty space and no one cares so we have to uh, now to make someone receive this message and react to it so let's uh, think about it who needs to uh, receive this message and uh, react to it what do i want to do as i said before let me analyze the problem i said when i click on this head i want the head to show up on the girl character so i want this head here to show up on the girl like this so uh it makes sense to me that this head here receives the message so i will find the scratch block one of the events blocks which says when i receive and click and find show head one it's already selected great so but again if i uh, start like this oh sorry i first have to hide this uh head one because i have unhide it here with this icon here i icon and now it's on uh, on the screen but when i start the game it doesn't hide so first of all I have to do this when the green flag is clicked i want this head to be hidden does it work yes it does great so let me try the second thing when i click on this head here it sends the message right show head one show head one that works great it blinks and let me see this head here when i receive show head nothing happens why because we haven't added code here so we haven't told scratch okay when i receive show head one do something do what i want to show the head on the screen simple as that for this game it's very very simple but if you want to make something something else try it these messages are, are great you can do whatever you want with them and let us uh, try this yeah it works so when i click on the heads i broadcast show heads that means show head one show head two show head three and when i click on head one i say show head one only 
so it will show head one here which is great so this work but again I uh, I have solved one problem as always in game development when you're making games you solve one problem and make a couple of new ones on the screen on in your game so when I receive show head one show that's great but when I click for example on show head two show head three nothing happens so let's add code to them okay zoom in a little bit and what do I want to do just use your mind use your brain and you can do it I want to do what I want to send message when I click that's event when I click when this sprite is clicked I want to do what I want to send message what kind of message show head to you can see uh, you, I make a new message and I will call it show head to you can call it whatever you want you can say show teddy bear head but for me it's easiest this way and it makes most sense this way okay when I click on this head button to the bear I want to show the bear on the girl character the bear head but nothing happens why because I have only broadcasted the message I didn't say receive that message who do we want to receive this message we want head teddy bear to receive it so when I receive what show head to do what show is it working let yeah it works again when I reset the game with the go it stays on the screen I want to hide it and I want to hide it when when the game is started when the green flag is clicked but we are going to find new problems now okay click on the first head it shows we said that show head one and it works click on the uh, second head teddy bear it shows two when I receive show head to show but what problem I have here if you watch your game closely you can see that below the head 2 there is head 1 still I have to hide it okay I will do it in a second let me first code the head 3 the head 3 when I send uh, 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 when this sprite is clicked sorry when this sprite is clicked when the third head is clicked do what broadcast show head 3 so I'm doing the same thing only with different sprites and different messages show head 3 okay that's sending the message who is receiving the message this head here and he's saying what when I receive show head 3 I want to do what I want to show myself is it working heads head 3 great but when I reset the game it stays still on the screen I don't want it on the screen when the game is starting so I need to hide it click and drag hide and click and drag when the green flag is clicked okay this looks much much better now let us try the game yes 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 it works but what is the problem I have them all on the screen if I click the first the second and the third they're all one on top of each other <laughs> it looks funny maybe you want this kind of game I don't want it to look like this and I want to solve this problem uh, somehow but first let us define the problem what do I want to do I want to have only one head on the girl at a time so it means I want to have only a sport head only or only a teddy bear head or only a white head so there can be only one 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 and only one head on the girl at once how to do it I already use this when I receive show head one show on head one but uh, what do I want to do I want to say to scratch when I receive I'm talking now for the first head and I can see that I have have to rename it sorry so it's head 1 not head 14 this is head 2 not head 
15 and this is head 3 better do that earlier but never too late okay so as i said i'm in head 1 now and what do i want to do i want to say to scratch somehow to hide so i need the hide to hide what to hide this head in two cases so i will need two hides in which two cases i want to hide this head when the teddy bear is clicked so it's like this if i ha click on the first head it is shown on the screen and that's cool but now if i click on the second head or third the teddy bear or the white head i want the first one to be hidden like this okay so how to do it I can again I can say okay uh, make new message broadcast new message and uh, maybe I can uh, name it make a new message name it hide head one when I click on teddy bear something like that but I don't want to do that uh, why because in head button two and head button three I already have some kind of messages which one head three yeah i should uh, yeah i should rename those two sorry let me do this just to look professional uh so i have named these buttons hats shirts pants and shoes i have named them button heads button shirts button pants button shoes and that's cool but these here those buttons on the screen those three hats i want to rename them into button head one just to be more clear for you to follow the tutorial so these three will be called button hats button head one button head two and button head three just to be uh, just understand me when i say i'm clicking on the button head one i mean this and this thing here is head one so this thing here on the left is button head and this is head one button head one head one simple as that uh, okay what do i want to do as i said before i'm using uh, for button head two teddy bear button i'm using broadcast message show head two for button head three i'm using broadcast show head three so maybe i can use those two messages uh, in combination with this head one as we did before if you remember when I was hiding these, if you have watched previous video, when I was hiding button head 1, button head 2 and button head 3, I was using the messages from the button shirts, button pants and button shoes. We are going to use the same approach here. So what do I want to do? I want to say here, okay, hide this head one on the girl when teddy bear is clicked and when teddy bear is clicked i am sending what message show head two so i can say that same sentence in, with different words is the same sentence if i say hide the head one when teddy bear is clicked that's the first sentence and the same sentence but with different words would be hide the head one when the message is show head to broadcast so we are going to use that when i receive show head two i want to do what i want to hide head one and i can copy paste this one and say when i receive show head three I want to do what? I want to hide head one. So what I'm saying here. If I receive show head one. And that means if I click on the first head button. Show yourself. But if I receive show head two. And that will happen when? When I click on the teddy bear button. Do what? Hide yourself. Does it work? Yes. When I click on the show head three. Will it disappear? It will. It's still a little bit confusing because we have coded only one button, but we will solve that uh, fast, don't worry. So let's do that for uh, 
head 2 and head 3 will use the same approach just follow me and use your mind and brain and common sense and if you have to stop or pause do it but it's very very easy so when do i want to show the teddy bear hat on the girl character i want it to show only and only when i click on second button teddy bear button and when i want to hide it <coughs> i want to hide it when i click on the first cap or the third cap the third head sorry if i click on the sport head or the white head i want to hide it and how to say i'm i uh, how to say to scratch that i have clicked the first cap well it's easy it's when i receive show head one hide or when i receive show head three that means show white head then i will need to hide the teddy bear and same goes for head three and sorry i have to rename those two you can i will publish this um, scratch project now and uh, you can use it for your own game so remix it re-scratch it so let me do the head tree when i receive the head tree show the white head that's cool but i want to do something else i want to hide this white head and when i want to hide this white head i want to hide it when the player is clicking the head one button or the player is clicking the head two button so let me try those now and let me try if they all work yeah simple as that and our game is finished i will now code maybe maybe not shirts pants and shoes buttons but you can see that the game is working nice let us uh, try to do shirt two uh, first let me click on this shirt one and change it to button shirt one just to be simpler to understand okay so when i click on button shirt one that's this button here i want to do what i want to send message which message oops which message when this sprite is click broadcast which message new message uh show shirt one okay who who is going to react on that message this one shirt one so select the shirt one first let me click on this eye icon to show it cool it's on its place and what do i want to do i want to say when the game starts hide yourself and when you receive show shirt one show yourself so hide when the game starts i don't want you to be visible but if the player clicks on this show yourself it works cool uh i own uh, yeah i remember that i i own you uh, making of shirt too i said yeah yeah my bad i have to make a pink sh uh, shirt we will do that in uh, some of the later videos so this is not the end my friend this is not the end <coughs> mm -hmm. and let me change this into button pants one and let me rename this to you don't have to rename and follow me uh, those sprites and follow me doing it but it will be easier for you and, and it's a good practice for professional game development because imagine you have like uh, 100 sprites here 100 different clothing for some co complex game y you will go crazy uh, we're trying to uh, find how did you call your sprites and so on okay uh, what do i want to do with the button pants blue and pink buttons i want to say when i click on those sorry when this sprite is clicked 
I want to broadcast some kind of message. What message? New message. Show. Pants one. Okay. Who is going to respond to those? Pants one, of course. Which are here on the girl if I click here and show them. And I want to do what? I want to say when the game starts, hide yourself. And when I receive, show pants one. Show yourself. Same with the pants with this button for the pink pants, pink panthers. When this sprite is clicked, send some kind of message. What message? New message. Show pants too. Who is going to respond to this message? The pink panther sweatpants, which are saying, when I receive, show pants too. Show me on the screen. But when the game starts, hide me. Let me see if that works. It works, but as we had uh, the problem before we have it again, the blue pants are staying behind the pink, they are not disappearing. So what we are going to do here, we are going to use the same approach which we have used for those buttons here. So, so uh, for this clothing here, sorry. I have to show the clothing in some cases and I have to hide them in some cases. In which cases do I want to show the blue pants and when to hide them? I want to show the pants when I receive the message show the pants one. But I want to hide them when? When I receive the message show pink pants, which is actually show pants too. That's how we called it. So it's very, very easy. Just try to read it as you would read it in real world language when the game starts that's when the green flag is clicked hide this sprite this image and when i receive show pants one show myself that will happen when when i click on this blue pants button here it will show uh, you will uh, see how this blinks you see and on the screen it showed up and when will this work? When I receive show pants too. And we said before that's what we have coded for clicking on the pink pants. So they disappear. Same here. When I receive show pants two, show. When I receive show pants one, hide. Simple as that. Hide me when the player clicks on the blue pants and, sh and show me when the player clicks on the pink pants. So they are disappearing and showing, simple as that. And it works nicely. Uh, shoes and that's it, we need just shoes and that's all coded. Okay, first of all I need to rename this into button shoes 1, button shoes 7, button shoes 2 and button shoes 3 okay great so what do I want to do I want to say when this sprite is clicked so that means when player clicks on this shoes on the screen so that, that means we're making a button out of this shoes image I want to say what I want to broadcast message into the space which message new message which says show shoes one again if it makes sense to you say make a message show green shoes make maybe it's easier for you to follow that way that's your choice I don't care how you make it as long as it works uh, no one cares uh, just you and your friends which are making the games if you're not alone team workers and uh, same with the shoes too when this sprite is clicked broadcast message what 
show shoes too you can say show brown shoes and the third one when this sprite is clicked broadcast message what new message show show if show shoes uh, three yeah one more thing uh, just let me show you wh while I'm here I'm not 100% sure I think I somehow used to delete those messages before I, I think I knew how to do it but maybe I, I'm wrong maybe I'm thinking of variables or lists uh, but uh, uh, just uh, what I want to say here is just be careful when you're making the messages don't fall around too much like uh, call uh, think about before you name your messages because if you make some mes messages which which you don't need later you won't be able to delete them somehow i don't know uh, how they didn't make solution for that in scratch but that's what it is now okay so now let me first rename these shoes into shoes one these into shoes two and these into shoes three and try to code them so they will be visible on the screen so what do i want to say when the game starts and when i receive some kind of message i want to do what when the game starts hide yourself but when the game starts and uh, sorry when i receive message show shoes one show yourself let me test that it works great but I need to code a couple of other things and I will code them right away because I know I will need them how do I know because I have made a few other buttons like this a few moments ag ago so that's how I know the same approach is here so I need to hide those green shoes when do I need to hide them? When the game starts, that's already here, we have that, but when again do I have to hide them? When the player clicks on the green on the brown boots, sorry, I need to hide the green ones. So that means when the message shoes 2 is received and message shoes 2 is received when the player clicks on the green on the brown boots, sorry. And when the player clicks on the pink flying shoes which message is sent show, show shoes 3 so i will need to hide green ones again when i need to show the pink ones simple as that same with this one and we are finished we're almost there when i receive and when the game starts so when the game starts hide this and when the game when I receive show shoes too show myself that's cool but I have to hide these boots when the player clicks on the shoes one show shoes one that means hide shoes two and what else show shoes 3 that means hide shoes 1 simple as that and last but not the least shoes 3 when the game starts hide them and I'm duplicating a couple of times because I will need it and when I receive show shoes 3 I want to show those shoes on the character great but I need to hide those shoes when in two cases when I receive show shoes one that means green shoes hide myself and when else when I receive show shoes two that means green uh, brown boots sorry hide myself and I think that's it I will change this untitled into dress up game K4A or maybe K4A dress up game and share it shared yeah let me see inside 
does it work? Zoom in, start the game. Heads. Heads are working nice. Let me try the shoes. Shoes are working too, nice. Pants. Pants are working too, nice. And shirt, shirt is working too, nice. So this is it, boys and girls. Uh, uh, good luck if you have all of these tutorials and uh, congratulations if you have made the game. I don't know how uh, simple and how uh, well did I explain it to you. It should be better probably, but uh, it will be better with the time and I will correct everything I can. But so far so good, we have made uh, complete game it's a very very simple dress up game but again it's a complete game and you can improve it on couple of levels I will show that maybe in a video or two yet to come but consider this uh, video tutorial ser ser series uh, finished with again as I said maybe a couple of videos just coming about uh, uh, fast review what uh, we have done so far what we have used from scratch blocks and uh, some ideas and tips and tricks on how to improve it and maybe uh, showing up what I will use in a, a tutorial which will be called maybe dress up game uh, advanced which I will probably make a premium tutorial to sell it online to support myself for making other free videos and so on but um, that's it more or less and also I will um, try to make a simple uh, dress up game like this in Game Maker Studio 2 as fast as possible and Unity and couple of other game engines too just to show you how it's easy uh, done when you understand how it's easy to make uh, same game in different engines when you understand those things which I was talking about earlier and those are analyzing the game making a game design document and then it's all about turning that logic, uh, solving those problems with code. Code is different in Unity than it's in Game Maker, than it's in Scratch, but the logic is the same, the logic of uh, problems which we need to solve. That's it for this video, I hope you finish the game and I hope you, you, uh, you will comment about it in uh, those YouTube's comment below. Thanks for watching and bye for now.